Southwest Louisiana is going to need a lot of help to recover from Hurricane Laura. Well, New Orleans area first responders and local relief agencies are now offering support to families and communities in need. Paul Murphy is live on the New Orleans lakefront with that story. Paul. Uh, Karen, Katie, despite those feeder bands and those storms that passed through New Orleans a little earlier today, as you can see, Lake Pontchartrain is actually pretty calm tonight and whatever a little uh, storm surge we got in this area has since receded. The city was spared the brunt of Hurricane Laura. Now relief efforts uh, are starting to mobilize here and people and organizations are lining up to help our neighbors in the Lake Charles area. New Orleans EMS spent the morning preparing high water trucks and boats to send a hurricane damaged southwest Louisiana. Medics are highly trained in search and rescue. They are ready and willing to offer their assistance if needed. When we have the opportunity to go to other uh, communities to help out, we're going to do it. The city of New Orleans is also ready to provide support to parishes hit hard by the storm. City Homeland Security Director Colin Arnold says they are waiting to be assigned a mission in the impacted areas. It's very early in the game right now. Um, I certainly think that there will be some search and rescue component to this. I know FEMA has sent down two national teams and you know the National Guard went in real big and so they're there right now. Arnold added the city is already helping about 800 evacuees now sheltering in New Orleans hotels. We have volunteer groups that we are coordinating through NOLA Ready uh, and through the city and through the council to reach out to uh, those persons, make sure they have what they need. The United Way is also stepping up to help. The New Orleans area chapter is already collecting donations for a Hurricane Laura disaster relief fund. CEO Michael Williamson says he knows the damage is significant and the road to recovery will be a long one. Right now I encourage folks to support you know, the recovery financially. Then when it's time to get in and volunteer, I've got tons of neighbors and friends and our staff and others that are ready to go over and help with the cleanup. For now, New Orleans EMS has not been asked to deploy, but spokesman Jonathan Forcade says they are always happy to pay it forward if the opportunity arises. We're approaching uh, anniversary of Katrina, and we remember uh, when we had folks from all over the country come down to Louisiana to help us out, and so we'd like to do the same. And I remember that well, the support that we received in 2005 after Katrina was amazing. And as you just heard, there are a lot of people now prepared to repay the favor. We're live on the New Orleans Lakefront, Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News.